Three minutes eleven, huh? Ooh. What's going on here? Oh, he's playing his mate, Fatso. Falling up uh, into... Mm -hmm. That was a good side beer. Yeah, that's that's great play actually. N nothing to comment on that end. Lovely use of the dancing blade crossover. Um, I was wondering if he actually knew that, but he does. Good, 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 good. Abusing his fast frame there. Alright. I uh, could have used a Nair instead of a Fair there. I think, yeah. F tilt, come in with a Nair. Yeah, the Fair is fair is not going to reach much. Or doesn't have much um, much of a hitbox. Lingering hitbox like Nair does. Ooh, re-grab. Mm, I think, first of all, Try not to re-grab. Yeah, just get back on. Look, he F smashed. Get yourself back on. You've missed the attack. Normal get up. Don't panic. Don't hesitate. Um, that's one point. Second point is don't be afraid. If you see Ganondorf uh, running back, then you have every opportunity to um, regain stage control. He did a little short dash back. He's coming in with a side B. You have plenty of time from there to there to uh, react to that side B. So um, get your reaction speed in order. Roll, jump, um, do an attack. Just uh, act. Don't get stuck in shield. That's what Ganondorf wants you to do. Mm, bad rolling. Yeah, it's bad rolling. I think better option would just be normal get up or roll back. If you if you roll back, now you know what the norm, the best option would have been to um, normal get up. You see, you already this is the start of your roll animation. But if you did normal get up, then there's no way Ganondorf's going to reach you at that point without you um, having to be able to defend it. So understand spacing a hell of a lot. Um, you could have just uh, normal get up then, and you had enough time to either. A block or react to any other option that Ganondorf does have, but rolling in like that is a no-go. Sorry, let me get that out of the way. I do love me a John Tron video, so I'll watch that after. Okay. How could you avoid that? Possibly by jumping quicker. I understand where you're going in with the counter attack. Another better option would have been just to get on stage. Get on stage much quicker than that and uh, prevent Ganondorf from returning on it. Oh god, you're getting fucked. You played so well in the first stock, but you're not replicating it in the in the other stocks here. Yeah. yeah, it's just you, it's just not you react, but you react either too slow or way too quick for your own good. Um, focusing on the timing would actually be beneficial against Ganondorf most of all. Uh, a little too aggressive there. I'd say you could have just waited back a little bit, try and bait him to do a move out, and then punish afterwards. Um, if you are going to go in, go in hard but safe. An example would be near cross ups, up air cross ups, um, down tilt on him on down tilting uh, Ganondorf while he's blocking. Okay. No. <laughs> Cool, you got the game, but my god was that a risk. He could have upbeat, he could have done a hell of a lot right there and you could have died.
Um, yeah. I mean, sure, you got it, but you nearly lost it at the same time. So I think better off if uh, Fatso here doesn't know how to do the beefy up beef for Ganondorf, where if he does the Warlock dive or whatever, and his hitbox lingers above the stage. If he doesn't know how to do that, your better option would have been just to wait on the edge, ledge trump Ganondorf and punish like that. Um, but yeah. I hope those tips help you. And uh, let me know if there's anything else you want to know about that, Roy. So thank you. Moving on. Next. Um, next, next, next video we got is from Adam. So Bebe would be last. Adam here has sent us, what is it? Who is he? He is first thing Napster. Our zero C 